Hello, good day from Sudhanshu. In this video, I will show you how you can generate an output of web page from Microsoft Bing and also from Google's software that is bard.google.com and also from Microsoft Bing, Chat GPT. And we will do the comparative analysis, which one looks better. So initially, you would have to go to the Chrome browser on your Microsoft system and type in bard.google.com. I'm providing this URL on the description so that you can go there. In the prompt, type create HTML, CSS, and JavaScript web page based on information of India. Wait for it to generate the output. Sometimes it might generate an output that is segmented into three sections. One is HTML, another is CSS, and the third one is JavaScript. It may be possible that you get a single compiled file. Now that we have three sections of output, we will copy the HTML code, minimize the browser, go on to the desktop, create a new folder. You can name it as output from Google Bard. It is not compulsory that you name it as output from Google Bard. It is just for the convention that I am using it. Right click on the empty screen on the folder. Go into the new section, create a text document, right click on it, rename the document as index.html. Right click on the index.html document, open with notepad, paste what you have copied before, go back to the Chrome browser. This time you will be copying the CSS code and you name to and you need to name the CSS file as tile.css. Let me show you how you can do that. Minimize the browser, go on to the same folder, right click again. Go into the new section, then follow the prompt to create a text document. Right click and rename it as style.css. Right click the style.css document, open it with notepad. Oh, it may be possible that you can't open it with notepad. Let me check. Okay, go on to delete the file. Right click and create a new document that is of text type. Double click on it. Paste what you have copied from the Google Bard. That is only the CSS section. Copy it. And paste it into this empty document. Click on file. Save it. Close the document after you save it. Again, go back to the folder that is output from Google Bard and rename this folder now. Rename it as style.css. This will convert your file into a CSS file, which is mentioned in the HTML code file. Remember, to create this style.css file and index.html file in the same folder. The third output that was generated was of JavaScript. So copy the JavaScript code this time. Go back onto the same folder that is output from Google Bard. Right click the index.html file, open it with notepad and onto the header section, paste the JavaScript code that you've got. Remember to annotate the JavaScript code with this script tag. Okay. The script tells the browser that it is a JavaScript code that it needs to execute. Okay, go on to the file section, save it. And we are almost done. So we what we've done is we've copied three sections of the code. One is HTML, then is CSS, and then is JavaScript. 
and compiled the JavaScript and CSS HTML code onto the HTML file. This one is the JavaScript code and below is the HTML syntax. And let's see how it looks like. Let's open it with Google Chrome. And this is how what your HTML page looks like. It still needs improvement. It is the basic one. Now let's see how better or how worse Microsoft Chat GPT version's output is. Initially, you would have to go to the Edge browser on your Microsoft system. Go into the search bar. Type a similar prompt. Create HTML, CSS and JavaScript web page based on India. Hover over the chat section, click on it, wait for it to generate the output. The difference is that while barge.google.com will give you three sections of the output, Microsoft software that is based on chat GPT gives you a single page output. However, it takes little longer time, but it will give you a single page output, which makes it more convenient to use. As you can see, the information is being generated. This here is the SCSS code. Below is the HTML section. Now, once you hover over the output, you can export this output as a single file. Click on text. Save it as um, my file from Microsoft dot HTML or you can simply save it as one dot HTML on the desktop. Okay. Open the file. And this is how the output looks like. It looks terrible to me at this point in time. So it doesn't seem to have worked properly. Let's see if we can again have the output. Or if there's something wrong that has been done. Create HTML, CSS and JavaScript web page based on India. Wait for it to generate the output. It takes a little time. Soon we will be doing the comparison whether Microsoft's output is better or Google's output is better. Here, going back to the document, here it what look like. Okay, we have the output ready. Export the document. Click on save as. Save it, change the extension simply to HTML. Replacing the document on my desktop. Let's minimize everything and access the page. Here it is. This is the output. So certainly either we use Microsoft solution or we use Google solution none of the pages are good enough to be uploaded as a professional website onto the server. These are basic pages that have been generated with literally text information maximum. I hope you had a good time and I hope you learned coding through some good coaching institute or online and enhance your skills rather than waiting on ChatGPT or Google's part. Thank you. Good day. Bye-bye.